Hello, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Happy, happy fall, but it feels like winter. Because I'm freezing. The girl's freezing. I had to put a hoodie on. I had a sports bra on. Then when I got outside, my toes got cold. Well, my arms got cold, but now my toes are freezing. But I'm not going to put on some socks. So, I'm going to teach you guys some cool tricks. Um, they're acro and tumbling and cheerleading all mixed together so, so y'all just follow along and maybe y'all learn some of these so first we're going to start with a really easy one it's called an arch so this one's like an acro so this one this one so you just literally lean back just a little bit you have to have someone to do it with you but Someone like stands in front of you and like arches over like this over you. But you have to have like insanely good back flexibility. I have more like, I have more back flexibility and then like flexibility probably, but you lean back just like this much. And now your partner will come this. Okay, next we have, you might want to. This one you can learn on the ground. You've got to have a really good toe touch. I'm doing it on trampoline. The grass is cold. So you ju you just jump. So you're going to jump. Straight. And you're going to jump up. And your feet are going to come up. So try that. Just jump. This one I just call a split jump. So try it. If you need to have leg flexibility. So you should work on some of my splits videos. Because you got to land in the splits. So, I'm in the splits right now. So you gotta land in the splits. Oh my gosh, I'm freezing y'all. I need some help. Please, like this video and send me help. So my parents can get a heater out here. Please. It's, not. it's windy. Freezing. I don't know how. It was so hot yesterday. Okay. So you're just going to jump straight into your split. So it's bent down, up, split. So it should look like this. And you should land straight into your splits. You can land with your arms up. It does not matter. So I'll do it again. Let's go ahead. This is a very hard trick. So it's a, I just called a cartwheel limber. This is a tumbling and acro trick. The last one was more of a, it was acro and cheerleading. The first one was definitely acro. So let's try a tumbling. So you do, so you must have a cartwheel, a handstand, Headstand into a back bend, a landing with straight legs, and just the back bend and come up. You don't have to land with straight legs, but I just said that. So, I'm gonna show you the trick. I just call it a cartwheel limber, call it whatever you want. I don't know what this trick is. I just, a long time ago, I, tried, I just thought of it and I did it. So, it looks like this. Well, that's the base part. But the actual thing looks like this. Wait, I can't do it. Hold on. I got it. I promise you. That's it. Oh, my God. Wind just a blue. The wind just started blowing. Oh my God. Yeah, don't go outside on a windy day. In a very cold day. It feels like winter. Alright. So, you, the thing, what you can practice doing is a cartwheel. Handstand. It doesn't look very much like it. You can try doing that. 
Or you can try like just like doing it and landing it to the back then. And then try to come up. I have some standing back. I have a front I have a front walkover tutorial if you want to try to do a front walkover out of it. Let me try that. Hold on. Let's see how far that is. My hands are freezing, y'all. I need a jacket. But I have a hoodie on. And window pockets, of course. And I'm in gym shorts. Let me try a walkover out. Okay, that's not that hard. It's kind of easier. Just try to walk your legs. Let me try that again. Okay, it's kind of easier. So, I would recommend trying to limber first, but then try to do the walkover. Okay, y'all, this is a tumbling skill, but I just wanted to, to throw it in here because I love back walkovers too much. So, it's a back walkover. I have tutorial for it. I just wanted to throw it in here because, honestly... You know, it's just so fun. So, some of this stuff is basic stuff I just threw in here. But it is actually acro tumbling or chillering. So, this is just a back walkover. Super simple once you get it. Um, I'm also just going to do one more tumbling skill, a back make takeover. And then I might do, show y'all a tumbling pass y'all can learn. I'm just putting a lot of random stuff out here for y'all to learn. But if you want to learn, learn your back walk over, some good drills is to have an elevated surface that I do not have right now. And have like an object on it and like lift your legs over and try to do like four and then like stop. One, two, three, four. And I need y'all to give me a like also if this, um, if my back walk over is great. I've been working on it. Let me try. I feel like it's straight. Probably not though. Okay, now I'm going to actually add something easy, but it's not that easy. It's hard, but I don't know what I want to add. Let's add an elbow stand. I have stuck at these, I promise you. But um, I just want to throw it in here. I want to see how good I am at it. That's how I have to come out of it, but I'm pretty good at that. Let me just try to squeeze. Y'all can learn these. Um, Just do them against a wall or something. That's how I got mine, but eventually I started depending on the wall, so don't do what I did. I did it. Now, once you're feeling advanced, since I just did that, even though I like surprised myself, that's crazy. Uh, you can try to do a back and half hit, which I think that's very hard because I've never done that before. But I'm gonna give it an attempt. Y'all can give it an attempt too. Oh, I almost did it. It's gonna take some work. Um, I don't really have any drills for a, chin, a elbow stand. Uh, I cannot do a chin stand yet, by the way. Chin stands take too much back flexibility. My back ain't as flexible as it used to be because I've slowly stopped stretching. Um, but I still stretch every day. But I've slowly stopped because I have so much going on. School, test I gotta study for, so I've stopped stretching. But yeah. Another trick you can do is, um, hold on, let me see if this jump is even a thing. If I can do it. Okay, so I don't even know what this is called, but I just made it. Literally right now, so I'm going to call it a, um, pigeon jump. So it's not like a, it's a, not like a toe touch. Well, you've got to have a herky and a toe touch, I believe. So what you do is you're getting in a position. Instead of a herky, you're gonna bring that like in and you're like this. One, two, three, four. So just do that. So I'm gonna do it fast. 
Hold on, I suck at this jump. Let me try that again. I'm not even doing that, I'm going like this. You can do it either way. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm doing this. I don't know why. I'm gonna start doing that. work on that. Alright y'all, that's all I can do to the game. Today I'm about to freeze to death. I'm freezing. I probably have frostbite. If I got some frostbite, I'll have to call y'all. I, I mean not call, I'm so used to that word. I'll have to film later. It is really cold out here. Y'all don't know how cold it is. I'm in gym shorts, sports bra, hoodie. And this ho hoodie's like really thin so i'm freezing over here please like the video so my parents can afford a heater out here so i can earn some money and buy a heater to go out here please all right i gotta see you guys in the next video i gotta go i mean not go what i'm so used to calling people all right well i'll see you guys later bye guys